Texas Stampin' Sharon. I am super excited to share with you 12 cards on this video because once I got Boho Indigo Product Medley, I couldn't stop. So as I just kept making cards and making cards, I was like, I am so inspired with each piece that I played with that I decided for the first time ever to offer a 12 card online class tutorial. I will have a separate video that will help you with some of my fun folds that are on my class. I'm telling you, it is addicting. I cannot stop playing with Boho Indigo. Let me share my cards with you. Let me introduce you to Boho Indigo. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I was so inspired by the designer series paper, so that's why I ordered it. But I have been so addicted to this bundle, to this product medley, um, that I just kept making cards and I was like, oh my gosh, how many have I made? 12? Oh, actually, I think I've made more than that, but I'm going to offer 12 cards in my free online class. Uh, there will be a separate video that will be a private video for you explaining how to make the cards and everything, but here's the stamp set, cute little jars and flowers and leaves, and then all of the different dies that cut out the stamped flowers and then there's some extra little small ones that you could also just use your um, scraps of designer series paper to cut out little ones or even the big ones like I did on some of my cards. All right, let's meet the paper. Of course, double-sided like Stampin' Up um, always does. And you know, when you make my cards, change up. The pattern that you use and your card's gonna look totally different than mine. I still have all this paper left and guess what? You can actually buy a refill kit that gives you the designer series paper, these more uh, of these cute little paper flowers and you also get both in the product medley and the refill kit you get um, embossed and I've used a lot of mine so I want to say there was like Three different designs, two, yeah, there were three different designs, two uh, sheets of each, but they're already embossed. I bet you can't see that on the video, but they're already embossed for you. You don't have to have a die cutting machine. Speaking of dies, you also get all of these uh, dies that you can pump, pump, pop out. Ugh, see, I'm too excited that you can pop out and add to your cards. Just do your stamping on those. And then you get these leaves, and I have used quite a few of them, um, but the leaves have gold flecks in them or gold highlights, and they're just, they're just super fun. The last thing that you get is the ribbon. Okay, so if, if I call boho indigo, boho chic one more time, but I'm telling you, this is just so shabby chic because the edge is frayed, super soft ribbon. You can tie it in a bow, However, it does make a bulky bow because it is such a thicker uh, ribbon, but I used it on several of my cards. And then this is called Vanilla and Gold. Uh, to me, it's just more gold. And I had to really look at the vanilla after I read the description. I was like, I just see gold. But another super soft ribbon that does tie into a bow, and I'll show you that on one of my cards. So let me introduce you to my cards that I made. Look at that stack. It won't even stack. <laughs> So here's this one. I used some of the embossed uh, Very Vanilla. Um, I used the dies. I stamped my um, one of my pots with uh, cinnamon cider because that's a new color. You could use any colors you want. I used the smaller um, dies and cut out the paper and the designer series paper. Okay, how about this one? This is a fun fold. Okay, so there's actually two cards in one. Look at all that room to stamp those fun, fun pots. I'll share with you how I did the flowers um, in the tutorial. How about this fun fold? I did use the textiles embossing folder. You could use any one that you already have, or you can just add it to your order if you want. Then I have this one. Haven't made a buckle card in a while, so that's super fun. And then here's where I use the ribbon again. I use the little paper flowers. And here is this one. I thought it looked like it was a tablecloth and this was like the top of the table, you know, like just a, a mat on the, on the table. And I frayed it even more on the edges. 
I did color the paper flower. And um, on the tutorial, I'll tell you what not to do when you color those paper flowers. <laughs> Actually, I can tell you now. I thought it would just be super easy. I just took something and I just put it in my ink pad. Don't do that. Don't do that. Use a sponge to color those paper flowers because this thing took two days, two days to dry. Don't do that. How about this one? This looks like a gift package, doesn't it, for a birthday card? And I use that ribbon again. Use the gold um, dies and the, the leaf with the gold in it. And this one I kept looking at. Should I? Did I do too much? I, I'm telling you, you can't stop playing with this medley. I was like, I took it off and then I put it back on. So there you go. Oh, and I'll tell you the secret on this too. Um, there is not a die for um, to cut out the mat around this. I just held it and used paper snips and made my own little mat. I'm telling you, you just go crazy with this thing. All right, how about this one? Same kind of fold, but a bigger layer. You will need a two and a quarter inch circle punch if you want your card to look like mine. Um, I used um, garden green, and see there's where I tied that bow, and it does tie really well, but you have to really pull it taut, but it does work. How about this one? There's some more of that paper. I loved that embossed paper. This one was just super simple. I used the dies to cut out two of my vases and then I stamped one, added a little paper flower. And then there's this one, a little belly band and this fun fold. So I hope I have inspired you to want my tutorial, uh, 12 cards, and you're gonna have lots of supplies left over to just continue making more cards. Happy stamping, y'all.